It's a swift return to the northwest of England for Chelsea following the midweek trip to Old Trafford. That was the latest in a long line of highly entertaining but pretty chaotic performances. You sense this might be a different kind of test, hopefully a different kind of result as well too. Goodison Park is bubbling, primed to be at its feisty best this afternoon. Everton's on-field reaction to the much-discussed points deduction has been good. They were beaten here by Manchester United, but they won away at Forest and beat Newcastle here on Thursday by three late goals to nil. That is no mean feat. Let's have a look at the team news for Everton. Just one change. The club captain Seamus Coleman's injured, so we think Ashley Young will drop back to right back. With James Garner returning to midfield. The toppies always so much stronger with Calvert-Lewin up top. But we've really got to watch out for his support from Decore, especially with Scott McTominay in mind from midweek. That kind of role, that kind of problem. As for the Blues, four big changes from Poch. Thiago Silva, Colwell, Sterling and Jackson are all benched. James and Barry Shield come into defence. Conor Gallagher is back after a ban. And Armando Breuer starts for just the third time. You can't understate probably having Conor Gallagher in how that changes the dynamic, I think, Ben. You know, Chelsea were very open at Manchester United, partly because of the, the midfield balance. Mudrick, quick, we know that, certainly quicker than Ashley Young. Good layback as well. How's the finish? Good hit on target from Enzo, the follow-up's wide, and he's frustrated with himself. Really good play. I thought Ashley Young actually did quite well just to put the brakes on. He's been guilty of a couple of rash challenges already this season. Just made sure there wasn't overly too much contact there. Really precise Enzo Fernandez with that initial finish. Nice height. Short from Mudrick this time. Here's Cole Palmer. He's gone for goal. And, uh, Pickford like one of his predecessors did so well, the great Neville Southall, with one for the cameras, eh? Yeah, it's a really good strike there. They're slow to get out there. Terrific effort. It had to be perfect, really. A bit higher. That's probably going to be 1-0. Knocked over the top. He's onside this time, Calvert-Lewin. Badia Shiel up close and personal. Everton fans saying too personal. Michael Oliver, nothing yet. Neil, that's Badia Shiel and Harrison! Blimey, that's a cracking effort. Super technique from Jack Harrison. And it had Robert Sanchez worried enough to dive. Yeah, there's not been much on either goal, has there? But that's brought the, the stadium to life. Just readjusting a couple of steps backwards. Great noisy place to watch a football match, for sure. No will beating Harrison to it. Here's Mudrick. That's a better ball. Little teaser and up. First half glimpse, albeit a very difficult one for Armando Breuer. And needs the little good Jonsson dink. Yeah, it's good play from Mudrick, really direct away from Harrison and Ashley Young. That's a mismatch, and it's probably just the, the stride pattern more than anything that sees him go with the outside of the right foot. Yeah, it's been incredibly cagey. I mean, I'm surprised that Everton haven't had more of a go. I'm sliding it through. Breuer's got there ahead of Mikolenko. Too tight for the shooting angle. Can he find a mate somewhere? Palmer. Not as good as the last one. Finally able to find a lovely bit of room there, Palmer. Acres of space. Good movement again from Breuer. Right, in comes Conor Gallagher. I'll win this. Off you go. Brilliant. And he's got it back here from Enzo Fernandez. Couldn't quite get the shooting angle himself. Cole Palmer. Deflection. Could have looped anywhere. Corner will do nicely. And I like the single-mindedness here of, of Palmer. Yes, he's got loads of options, but always looking to get that strike away. That could have gone anywhere. Nice from Palmer. How's the shot? And it's on target, but it's very simple for Jordan Pickford. Suddenly Everton looking more open, and we know that will suit Chelsea far more. These games, Chelsea have always looked dangerous in. What 
a pass that's turned into. Goalkeeper to centre forward. Harrison, little faint. McNeil! Good stop, Sanchez. That's his best save of the game. It's one of his only saves of the game, but it's a good one. And it's a much better game, this, already. Yeah, I thought this was in. Does it take him Nick as well? No, goes straight through the two central defenders, and that's a brilliant save. I thought that was going to go in. Space for Palmer. Don't touch Mudrick. Fernandes, and it all tightened up. Careful, Conor Gallagher. Michael Oliver says play on. He's let him run on McNeil. Great ball. Calvin Lewin. Brilliant stop. And the follow up from Decore's in. Everton's top scorer scores against Chelsea again. It's a football match this that never threatened to have a goal before the break. It's been far more open after. And that is why people pull on shirts, I suppose, Sam. If Conor Gallagher does pull back Dwight McNeil and takes the yellow card, that doesn't happen, but it's 1-0 Everton. Yeah, that um, should have been an opportunity at the other end when Chelsea had so many bodies forward, all narrowed up, as you said, got on top of each other. The chance has gone, that looks OK. Calvert-Lewin in behind, Baddy Ashil, wonderful pass it was from McNeil. And then Ducouré's driven finish finds the bottom corner perfectly. He has stepped up when Chelsea have needed him on many an occasion already. He's also caught one very cleanly that Pickford pushed out from just this kind of range in the first half. Through the crowd. Calm it down, says Jordan Pickford. Mudrick, good run, good touch. And a good cutback as well. It's just on the stretch, Enzo Fernandez, but still no way through. Half an hour or so to go. End of the day in the bottom half of the table. Palmer. He keeps going for it, and you know he's going to find that top corner sooner or later. Let's hope it's in the next 25 minutes. Yeah, I'd be really disappointed with that. Perfect position for him. Great pass from Kukurea. Nice and patient. Nikolenko in with the tackle, but it's worked out nicely for Mudrick. Sterling is in the middle. Jackson is on the ball, trying to float it. He's floated it wide. A bit more promise about that one there, though. You don't mind that type of attempt. He's just trying to bend it into the top corner. Looks like Sterling's actually going to start down the middle. Just didn't get any curl on it. It's, yeah, it's the right idea. Good from to Decore. Man on was the call from the crowd. He didn't hear it. Conor Gallagher nicked it. And here's Sterling. Jackson. Tarkovsky just pokes it clear. Good again from Cole Palmer. He's so good at seeing those passes, despite being quite well marked. He can get it through people's legs or just down the side of them. Not sure why Jackson didn't get any contact on that. Garner's corner. Petrovic gets a fist on it, and it's last passed in by Lewis Dobbin to confirm Everton's brilliant week. What a moment for their youngster. That will do it. And there's been a couple of chances of similar ilk, I would suggest, this afternoon, where Chelsea have been a little bit fortuitous when the ball's bounced around that area. Mikolenko certainly had one attempt in the second half. And on this occasion, Petrovic can only kind of claw it towards the D, and then it gets a wonderfully controlled finish from the left foot of Dobbin. Another frustrating defeat at Goodison Park, the sort of game we've seen plenty here over recent seasons. Three wins out of four for Everton following the points deduction. Great week for them as they pull further clear from trouble. And Poch's youngsters drop into the bottom half in a totally contrasting fashion. Back to back defeats in the Northwest for Chelsea this week. Dobbin 
happened before in Decore with the goals. Everton winners here by two goals to nil.